Shabbat Shalom, Kal Halal Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechaha Kodash, double honor to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, GMS, peace, blessings, and citations to the elect, Adawan Ratiza, which means Lord willing, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. If you celebrate or are about to celebrate Halloween, you are of the devil straight up, right? If you celebrated or are about to celebrate Halloween in 2024, you are evil. Information regarding this silly, wicked folly day is readily available to access at hand throughout the internet. All right? And common bloody sense, all right, tells you not to do so. Okay? It's all wickedness. There's nothing godly about this so-called holiday whatsoever right it, it pays homage you know to witchcraft all right sorcery all sorts all right which the bible clearly right commands us to stay away from all right we shouldn't have to explain this but every year periodically you know we have to break down not to celebrate halloween not to celebrate christmas not to celebrate easter all right not to celebrate valentine's day not to celebrate so-called New Year's Day, January the 1st, you know, so on and so forth. But every every year you see our people, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the lost chosen people, right? And you Israelite foreigners, speckled bird, all right? The majority of you, you know, annually, you know, com commemorate these pagan days over and over again, following after it, okay? This is a celebration of death, all right? It's got all sorts of rich... You know, ritualistic things. Alright, Day of the Dead. Okay. Idolatry. Alright, worshipping false deities. Right, nobody in their right mind, right, in their right mind should celebrate it, this nonsense. Right, these people are here weird, man. Okay. The people had sense not to come to my house with this fuck shit anyway. So when you look up the, uh, the history of Halloween, alright. <clears throat> You know, as we bring out this information from time to time. Alright. It says, Halloween is a holiday celebrated each year on October the 31st. And Halloween 2024 will occur on Thursday, October the 31st. The tradition originated with the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. Alright. And, you know, All Hallows Eve. Alright. When people would light bonfires. Alright. You know, rituals and stuff. And wear costumes to ward off ghosts. In the 8th century, Pope Gregory III designated November the 1st as a time to honour all saints. Soon, All Saints Day incorporated some of the traditions of Samhain. The evening, was, the evening before was known as All Hallows' Eve and later Halloween. Right. Over time, Halloween evolved into a day of activities like trick-or-treating, carving jack-o'-lanterns, festive gatherings, uh, donning costumes and eating treats. All right. Don't forget the pumpkin as well. It's a waste of pumpkin anyway. You see? So yeah man, this is this is nothing to do with our culture, our heritage, our Hebrew heritage whatsoever. Okay. Commemorating, you know, zombies, vampires, ghouls, ghosts, goblins, right, werewolves. It's all venerating the dead, right? And the, the power we serve, Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is the is the God of the living, for crying out loud. Okay. Communicating with the dead, consulting with familiar spirits, man. Alright. So Halloween's origins date back to the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. Right? Oh, pronounced sowing. Alright. The Celts who lived 2,000 years ago, mostly in the area that is now Ireland, the United Kingdom, and Northern France, celebrated their new year on November the 1st. This day marked the end of summer and the harvest and the beginning of the dark, cold winter. Alright? A time of year that was often associated with human death. Okay? Celts believe that on the night before the new year, right, and the new year does not start in, in autumn or winter at all, okay, and it certainly doesn't start on January the 1st, it starts in the spring, all right. Celts believe that on the night before the new year, the boundary between the world of the living and the dead became blurred. On the night of October the 31st, they celebrated sowing, so that's how we pronounce it, when it was believed that the ghost of the dead returned to earth, all right. In addition to causing trouble and damaging crops, Celts thought the presence of the over 
sorry, of the other worldly spirits made it easier for the Druids or Celtic priests to make predictions about the future. You see, and there he goes, you know, you com communicate with familiar spirits and things of that nature. All right. For a people entirely dependent on the volatile natural world, these prophecies were an important source of comfort during the long dark winter. To commemorate the event, Druids built huge sacred bonfires where people gathered to burn crops and animals as sacrifices to the Celtic deities. Completely, you know, madness, man. During the celebration, the Celts wore costumes typically consisting of animal heads and skins and attempted to tell each other's fortunes. See? Madness. Okay. And, you know, they'll have other articles going into, into things of this nature. All right. And yet, you know, you got grown-ups doing all this and stuff like that. Uh, it, it's, it's vexing, honestly, it's just straight up vexing, you see. Go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, and verse 9, and it reads, When you are come into the land which Adawan Yahweh thy power giveth you, you shall not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. That's right, man. You know, you're not supposed to do that after the abominations of, of the heathen nations, you see, whatsoever, all right? And then you go into the uh, Hebrew word for <coughs> abomination. It's the uh, Strong's H8441 concordance number, all right? And the Hebrew word is Thawa Aiba, all right? A disgusting thing, abomination, abominable. Right, in a ritual sense, right, of unclean foods, right, idols, so there's mixed marriages, which, you know, we can take heathen women, all right, we just can't follow us to their gods, okay, and, <clears throat> you know, getting married, you know, you know, you know, in the state, right, getting married, you know, actually getting a, you know, ring on your finger, that's not a wise, you know, thing to do right now, okay, because it really doesn't benefit the man whatsoever, okay. In an ethical sense of wickedness, etc. You see? Verse 10 There shall not be found any among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. Scripture says, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Okay? You know, some necromancy, soothsayers, fortune tellers, things that, of that nature, man. That's, what, that's not what we're supposed to do. You see? Communicating with the dead, consulting with familiar spirits, man. All right. Verse 11, or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer for all that do these things are an abomination unto Ha'adawan Yahweh and because of these abominations Ha'adawan Yahweh, thy power, doth drive them out before you. Okay. <clears throat> you know, the Canaanites were, you know, into these things, man. The Trahamites. All right. This is all completely, you know, pagan and things of that nature, man. All right. You know, Christian church, they're all with it. You see, the people of the world are with this. All right. And you dare speak, you dare try educating people on this. They do not want to hear you. They'll drown you out and say, oh, you know, you're spoiling our fun and, and things of that, of that nature. When all we're telling them is the, is the absolute absolute truth, all right? You know, you can look more into that history article on Halloween, all right? So, origin of trick-or-treat, okay? 1920s, first recorded in Canada, with reference to the practice of children playing pranks on people who do not give them anything when they call it Halloween. All right? It's from the, th yeah, from history again, 3rd of October, 2019. The practice can be traced again to the ancient Celts, early Roman Catholics, and the 17th century British politics. So it's the Roman Catholic Church. The false prophet is involved with this man. Trick or treating set if, setting off on Halloween night in costume and ringing doorbell to demand treats has been a tradition in the United States and other countries for more than a century. Its origin remains murky, but traces can be identified in ancient Celtic festivals, early Roman Catholic holidays, medieval practices, and even British politics. All right. 
yeah. In later centuries, people began dressing as ghosts, demons, and other malevolent creatures performing antics in exchange for food and drink. All right, this custom known as mumming dates back to the Middle Ages. And it's thought to be an ante antecedent of trick or treating. Okay, and you're dressing up in your those with you know evil costumes of whatever evil character from whatever horror show you you, you know. That, you know these children are into you know, like Mike Myers, Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, Pennywise, the clown, and things of that nature, man. That's why you see people acting all weird, man, because spirits will get riled in, you know, riled up. It's just dark demonic time. By the ninth century, Christianity has spread into Celtic lands, where it gradually blended with and supplanted all the pagan rites. In uh, 1000 AD, the church designated November the second as All Souls Day, a time for honouring the dead. Madness. Celebrations in England resemble Celtic commemorations of Samhain or Samhain, complete with bonfires and masquerades. Right? Poor people would visit the houses of wealthier families and receive pastries called soul cakes in exchange for a promise to pray for the souls of the homeowners and dead relatives. And which scripture says when someone is passed away, all souls go back to the heaven. All spirits return back to the heavenly Father who created them. Right? Right, all returns back to him. We all go to one place. Okay. This is madness. This is wrong. Known as souling. The practice was later taken up by children who would go from door to door asking for gifts such as food, money and ale. In Scotland and Ireland, young people took part in tradition called guising, dressing up in costume and accepting offerings from various households rather than pledging to pray for the dead. They would sing a song, recite a poem, tell a joke or perform another sort of trick before collecting their treat which typically consisted of fruit, nuts or coins. And nowadays it's them... Horrible sweets, you know, you got Haribo sweets, which is basically pigskin, pork, <laughs> you know, all the all these sweets now, man, you know, the food is so defiled, all the only sweet, sweets are full of, of m mad ingredients, all right, a whole bleeding story on the back of the, you know, the, the sweet package, okay, all sorts of sugar as well, mash up your teeth, <laughs> so yeah. And it goes further on, man. Alright. It goes further on. You see? And as usual, you know, most of our people are going to do this every year. Celebrate every, every year, man. Okay. Let's go to the book of, in the Apocrypha, the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 14. We'll start at verse 22. Okay. And it reads, Moreover, this was not enough for them, that they erred in the knowledge of Yahweh, but whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those saw great plagues called they peace. For whilst they slew their children in sacrifices, or used secret ceremonies, or made revelings of strange rites. You know, this is a, you know, talk about the Canaanites, man. Okay. <laughs> they kept their, they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled but either one slew another tra traitorously or grieved him by adultery you see you know, that's what they do man you know worshiping idols and things like that so that there reigned in all men without exception blood manslaughter theft and dis dissimulation corruption unfaithfulness tumults perjury okay Disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good terms, defiling of soul, changing of kind, disorder in marriages, adultery in shameless and cleansiness. No, that's what this is all about. Alright? Goes back to idol worship, man. Alright? This sums up Halloween. You see, but most of these people, you know, they're, they're ignorant to where it really stems back to. You see? Verse 27 For the worshipping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end. Of all evil, right? And it just leads to mass wickedness, man. Revelry, right? People acting wild, they get high and drunk, and things like that. The the, the murder rate goes up on Halloween, man. Okay, you have orgies happen at parties and things like that. Go out into the city center, man. You know people, you know living it up and and doing all sorts of wickedness, man. Okay, <laughs> things like that. And you'll have some jackass that'll put a nail in, in, the, in the trick or treat candy. And then it winds up in, you know, hurting the child. You know, wants to bite into it, man. Okay. Oh, yeah, drug use goes up. Looting. 
You know, all sorts of wickedness happens, man. You know, on on uh, Samin. You see? Yeah. It's the seriousness. Alright? And what, what do you benefit from it spiritually either? Let's go to the first epistle of Peter. Chapter 4, verse 1. Keep fervent in your love. For as much then as Hamashiach hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of Yahweh. For the time past of our for the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles, when we walked in lasciviousness, lusts, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. Okay. Isn't that what people do, getting all drunk and like like what I mentioned? Revelings, alright, lasciviousness, lust. You know, adultery, you know, runs rampant. You see? The seriousness is, is, is associated with lust, man. Alright? You know, you got scantily clad women, you know, wearing demonic costumes. Fish nets. Okay? People drunk as a skunk, man. Alright? And short skirts. No morals whatsoever, man. Alright? Verse 4, wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of right speaking evil of you. You see, and they, they look at you as like, oh, why, why don't you, you know, come celebrate Halloween with us, get down with us. All right. They think you're, you're messed up, you're strange, you're weird, that you don't do the same crap and, and rubbish that they do. You know, and sin filled behavior that they, they do. All right. Talk bad of you. Oh, you didn't come to, he or she didn't come to the Halloween party we had last night. They didn't come trick or treating with us. You know, that's what they'll the, the speak evil of you. We shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead. Verse 5. Alright. So, yeah. Let's get a precept in the book of Galatians. Chapter 5. Verse 19. Alright, it reads Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft. Alright? All associated with Halloween, right? Hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Alright? So if you're, if you're practicing this, right? Folly day. This stupid Halloween. Or if you, you know... You know, chem if you yeah, commemorating it, man. Right, as an Israelite, judgment will happen to you, man. Okay. Flipping idol worshippers, right? Got spells being casted, right? And Celtics here, like this, the article mentioned, were the originators of this of this festival, man. Okay. They believe the spirits of the dead could roam around in in our realm, right? And just because the Bible doesn't say verbatim that you know thou shall not celebrate halloween or thou shall you know not celebrate christmas doesn't mean the bible um absolutely promotes it and condones it all right because it doesn't the lord yahweh is strictly against this all right first corinthians Chapter 10, uh, verse 19, what say I then, that the idol is anything, or that which is offered in sacrifice to idol is anything, you see, but I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to Yahweh, and I would not that you should have fellowship with devils, okay. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Yeah, you can't be serving the Lord and, and celebrating Halloween at the same time. Okay, love not the world, nor the, neither the things that's in the world, man. If you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. Okay, you can't be doing both. 
verse 22 do we provoke the law to jealousy are we stronger than he okay that's what you do you know when you you partaking in, in samhain right dressing up in these devilish devilishment costumes man so there's no excuses man this is the working of Sit, shit, uh, shaitan, Satan. This is the working of darkness. And men love darkness rather than light, man. And I bet vocab. I know you're going to celebrate this very soon. You see? And Halloween has been in, in, integrated into the false religion of Christianity anyway. That's why Christians go along with it. That's why the church upholds it. Right? A line has to be drawn at the end of the day. Okay? see child sacrifice happens all right underground rituals kidnappings you name it man and usually judgment from the lord goes out on this day too which you know <clears throat> the lord is angry with the wicked every day you see let's go to the book of saint john chapter 4 verse 22 these are the words of Yahweh Shai alright you know when he told this heathen woman at the well man Samaritan okay <clears throat> this is what he, you know he told the woman at the well you worship you know not what we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews meaning the Israelites okay but the hour cometh the now is when the true worshippers shall worship the heavenly father in spirit and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him Yahweh is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth you see these Christians are really hypocrites man anti-Christians, anti-Christians, anti-Christ right, they don't follow the Bible they use it as a front okay and yeah, you know, of course we're in the world alright you know, before we came into the truth we were caught up in madness alright you know, and the, and the most high went to, you know <clears throat> our sins and things like that all right you know we're younger we're into the halloween <laughs> me a little you know i still celebrate it but really deep down i didn't really yeah i want i won't really too into it like that all right you know our parents were, were in their ignorance our grandparents in their ignorance you see you know we saw the children dressed up in their costumes you know maybe even at school as well you see you know we're all and then you know we're into it you see you can't make this folly day holy when it's profane okay it's witchcraft all right it's wizardry let's go to the book of galatians chapter five verse 16 and it reads this i then this I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And this is a time where everyone feels, you know, you know, they feel fulfilling the lust of the flesh, man. Okay. But we, you know, <clears throat> we're redeeming the times of the days of the evil, man. All right. You know, we're, not, <clears throat> we're, you know, we're remaining separate from this world, man. Okay. So we're walking in the spirit. All right. These guys, you know, they're carnal and they're so into the flesh. Alright, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one to the other. So that you're not gonna so that you cannot do the things that you would. Excuse me. <laughs> but if you be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. Okay. There you go. Reminds me of Ephesians. Yeah, precept there. Chapter five. Start from verse seven, it reads be not you therefore partakers with them for you were sometimes darkness but now are you light in the lord walk as children of light yeah you know we're in the darkness right but the lord called us into his gracious and marvelous light okay verse 9 for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness of the truth that's right that's the fruit of the spirit providing what is acceptable unto the lord and halloween isn't and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. 
Wherefore he saith, Awake you that sleep and arise from the dead, and Hamashiach shall give you light. Okay, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the times because the days are evil. Right? Wherefore be you not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. You see? Okay. Child sacrifices, man. Right? things of that nature you see the, the elites they have there you know <clears throat> you have the you even have the satanic calendar and the elites they have, they, they have the you know the uh, wickedness of, of, of holidays that they do on the left hand side too okay uh, child trafficking and things like that as well okay get the book of Proverbs chapter 21 verse 16 and it reads the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead that's right okay spiritually dead from the neck up right they won't come into the light you know which is this truth they won't come into the truth man okay unless their deeds you know be reproved okay you know this truth quickens our spirits man mean to be made alive spiritually okay you see but instead you got you know a lot of our people caught up in you know consulting psychics and you know chat you know challenging spirits you know mediums and things like that all right Go back to Galatians again. All right, uh, five. Well, maybe that might be it. Yeah, that's yeah. But yeah, man. Anyway, that. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say, you know, Shabbat Shalom.